Wombat Divine, written by Mem Fox, illustrated by Kerry Argent. It was the week before Christmas. The wombat loved Christmas. He loved the carols and the candles, the presents and the pudding. But most of all, he loved the nativity play. For as long as he could remember, Wombat had wanted to be in the nativity. Now, at last, he was old enough to take part. So, with his heart full of hope and his head full of dreams, he hurried along to the auditions. His friends were already there. Emu was bossing and fussing as usual. Now, let's get started, she said. Who'd like to be the Archangel Gabriel? I would, said Wombat. But he was too heavy to be the Archangel Gabriel. Bilby was chosen instead. Bilby patted Wombat on the back. Never mind, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? What a good idea, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be Mary? Oh, I would, said Wombat. But he was too big to be Mary. Uh-oh. Look, can you see Koala? She's being the back half of the donkey. Numbat was chosen instead. There are some very cool Australian animals in this book, aren't there? Numbat stroked Wombat's nose. There, there, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Right, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be one of the three kings? Oh, I would, said Wombat. But he was too short to be a king. The kangaroos were chosen instead. The kangaroos put their arms around Wombat. Cheer up, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Wombat tried everything. He wanted to be Joseph. But he was too sleepy. He wanted to be the innkeeper, but he was too clumsy. He wanted to be one of the shepherds, but he was too short-sighted. Uh-oh. And then there were no parts left. Wombat hung his head and hoped he wouldn't cry. Poor little guy. Suddenly, Bilby leapt into the air. I know, he shouted. You could be the baby Jesus. Could I? asked Wombat. Could I really? Of course you could, Wombat, said Emu. Fancy my forgetting such an important part. A nativity without the baby Jesus is no nativity at all. Wombat was dizzy with pride. Christmas Eve arrived at last. Everyone was nervous except Wombat. He lay quiet and still throughout the whole performance. Look, he hardly fits in that cradle. He's a big baby Jesus. He even fell asleep, just as a real baby would. On Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating pudding, they all agreed it had been the best nativity ever. You were divine, Wombat, said Emu. And Wombat beamed. <laughs>